I like Roy. Yeah, he came to um, he came to Celtic at the very end of his career. Might have had something to do with his testimonial six months later. He was only there for six months, but um, he actually gave me that watch in his uh, testimonial at Old Trafford. Uh, Ronaldo scored the goal. They beat us 1-0, Manchester United versus Celtic. But no, I thought he was a great guy. He was a great experience to play with such a world-class player. A lot of people talk about his, um, his temperament and his nastiness and... You know, that, that's the way Roy works, you know, that's the way that he functions. Maybe he's better off just sticking as a number two, you know, because when you're in charge, you know, when you're a player, you're OK, you can do that. And I think he was given carte blanche under Sir Alex Ferguson to dig a few of the Manchester United players out. When you go into management, I think you've got to be a little bit... You've got to know how to speak to people. You've got to know how to get, gain respect of people. He's gold. He's gold for the press, you know. He's, uh, he's very honest. He, they loved him at ITV. They were paying him ten times more than what they pay anybody else because they know that Roy would come out and say things. You know, and a lot of people in the media, they say a lot without really saying anything. You know, it's important to be honest without being controversial, if you like. And uh, I'm sure Roy goes home at night and he can, he can sleep like a baby and when his head goes on the pillow, he can look himself in the mirror and say, well, I was honest. And there's a lot of people in the media that can't say that.